just arriving, ladies and gents. What you're watching here in the ring is the British and Commonwealth heavyweight champion Tyson Fury sparring against the former Canadian amateur champion Didier Benz, one of the most highly rated prospects coming out of Canada. This is all part of the build up towards a fight taking place next weekend, just down the road from here at Event City, just out down the road from the traffic centre. Tyson defending his Commonwealth title against Neva Pajic, she's a Serbian Canadian. This will be Tyson's last public training session before that event next weekend. He's doing that about four or five rounds of sparring for us here today against Didier. This now is the final chance for you to have a good look at Tyson. And we're quite privileged here because very few boxers will do this in public. So you won't see a public workout, you very rarely see public sparring. But this is Tyson's last chance really to get, to get his range against an opponent who resembles by Chef. With us now as well, we've got former WBC light welterweight champion of the world, Junior Witter. Junior's been through this many a time. Um, Junior, just for people watching, give us an idea of, of what Tyson in particular is trying to do here. It's slightly different to an actual fight because it's, there, are, there, are, there are, are similarities, but there are things he has to do different. What's Tyson looking to do here? Well, what he's really looking to do is, is keep sharp, get his timing right, get everything rolling and moving smooth, get his body into a perfect condition for the final time. And is this, this isn't really about, about looking to, to go and knock someone like Didier out. This is about, about timing and about perhaps just, about just fine tuning little things. Is that, is that right? That's exactly it. It's, it's the fine tuning, I mean, it's the final prep. It's getting the arms flowing so when he, when he puts his combinations together, he knows it's gonna, the timing's going to be right. The motion's going to be there in the body. It's not going to be stiff. It's not going to be, it's going to have no ring rush. And that's what it's about today. It's not about throwing your biggest bombs, knocking people out. It's about getting the, getting the timing right. What's Obviously, world champion 2006 to 2008. You were in the ring with guys like Zab Judah, who was the, the best in the world, pound for pound, back in 2000. Timothy Bradley, still undefeated now. Um, just to name a few. What's it like being in the ring with the absolute best of the best? It's great. It's, 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 it's absolutely brilliant as feelings and fighters to know that you're in that league, you deserve to be there, and you're beating these guys. And as a, as a fellow British boxer, how impressed are we with Tyson and, and how far can Tyson go? We, we kind of pinned our hopes on Tyson in the heavyweight division. He is the, the great British hope now David Hayes retired. What do we see in Tyson and what do we want to see from him over the next couple of years? You see very tall, very strong, quick, powerful athlete. Um, he knows how to use his ability, he can use his speed, he uses angles. Um, he's got more than just a slam bang. Hope, hope that the first punch knocks you out, hope that that's you. Um, and what we need to see in the, from here in the future is simply a progression of that and not get into fights when you don't have to get into fights. Sometimes it can be an easy road to beat someone up before ne knocking them out. And I wonder when we look at Tyson, and this is something we're used to, we're looking at a man who's six foot nine, so naturally almost everybody who gets in the ring with him is smaller than him. I suppose, you know, the the naive thing to, to assume is oh, he's against someone smaller and therefore it must be easy. I suspect when you've been in the ring, you must know that must pose him almost as many problems as it, as it gives him advantages in some ways. It does, you know I mean? I've got people at six foot two and I've knocked them out. It's, it's a case of you have to adapt to your style to use your advantages. I mean, Mike Tyson was, was under six foot himself and everybody knows Mike Tyson. Great fighter. So you've got to use your advantages the, the way you can. To what be the best to have, to bring the best out of your style. And what are you seeing Tyson doing here now uh, in, in, in this ring, where he's able to use that sort of eight-inch advantage over Didier, and which hopefully Tyson will be able to exploit against Pajic on Saturday? Um, he's, 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 he's standing his ground. He's, he's, he's finishing off with the jab. He's just picking with long shots. And that's what he's doing in all of his fights, he's picking off long range, hitting before they can hit you, bring them down before they get a chance to hit you. Okay, Joe, well, we'll leave for a minute and just uh, watch a bit more of this fight. We'll speak to you again in the moment. But just in, enjoy this, ladies and gents. As we said, this is a rarity. Very few top level professionals, certainly at this level now, top level heavyweight boxing will do this really publicly. So just uh, enjoy the next five, ten minutes.
Okay, we're into the last sort of minute and a half of our sparring, ladies and gents. We'll let the lads uh, finish off here. Chris, just briefly while we, while we finish up, what sort of things have you been working on with Tyson? And what have you seen differently now in Tyson Fury uh, as, as since you started working with him? Oh, it's just movement and uh, just his creativity in the ring. I know. And just his ring generalship I've been working on with him. And he's coming along with great. I suspect from your point of view, it's quite, it's quite a challenge because but there wasn't fundamentally that much wrong with Tyson, so it's just a case of fine tuning, is it? Yeah, exactly. Um, he's an athlete, you know, and uh, it's easy to work with athletes. And what are you going to do for the rest of the session? So we've done four rounds of sparring, what's next? We're going to do about three rounds uh, on the hand pass. That must be tough for you, how much does that hurt you? <laughs> well, that's why I have a pillow in here. I usually have a double pillow in there, but I've got a little brave today. Okay, we'll let the guys do the last minute and then we'll move on to the next session. Thanks for that, Chris. That's four rounds, ladies and gents. Please give it up for both of our combatants in there. Didier Benson of Canada and our very own Tyson Fury.